All right, so the title of this two-part series may be a little bit misleading because I, I like digital cutters, but I don't love digital cutters. In fact, some days I can kind of hate digital cutters, but you know what? A lot of times they can really make our lives easier. So what this video is uh, going to be about is showing you how to use digital cutters with your Quilt Fusion patterns or the Quilt Fusion software. Um, and then some tips and tricks that kind of help make things go a little bit smoother as you use that to create your quilts. So I'm gonna head over to the computer here and we're gonna fire up some Quilt Fusion patterns and show you how to download those cutting files. Okay, so first off, it doesn't matter where you get your pattern from. You could generate it from the Quilt Fusion software or you could get it from uh, by purchasing it on the Quilt Fusion website. All of the patterns come with SVG cutting files, regardless of where you get it from. Um, and the instructions are the same um, from here on out, whether you purchased it online or purchased it through the Quilt Fusion software. So when you get your, your pattern, you'll get a PDF pattern. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the materials or fabric list, you'll see a big button for cutting files. You're gonna click that button and it will download a zip file that will have all those cutting files in there for you. You can click that, it'll open it up. Now keep in mind you're inside of the zip file here and so you'll need to extract all of these files. Uh, clicking extract, extract all, and I like to extract it to my desktop. It makes it easier to find them from whatever software I'm using. Um, so I select the desktop as the destination and extract them to there. So you'll see I got my cutting files here and if I open that up you'll see that for this particular design, this um, this carousel design, I've got 20 different fabrics that I'm using. Each fabric has its own cutting mat associated with it. Now uh, let's talk about which designs real quick are kind of best conducive for cutting on digital cutters. I tend to, I mean, you could cut this whole quilt on your digital cutter. Um, in my, my opinion, I tend to look for designs that have a lot of repetitive shapes or design motifs like this carousel quilt. You know, a lot of these uh, pieces will be cut out really simply on the digital cutter. The other thing I'm looking for is... I don't want to have to do a lot of fussy cutting because it's very difficult to fussy cut on um, your cutter. So, you know, as long as there's not a lot of fussy cutting, you're good to go. Um, so this this design's pretty perfect. There's a lot of similar patterns and shapes and stuff like that in here, and so that's why I'm using it as an example. Uh, once you've extracted all of your files to your desktop, you're going to go ahead and open up your Simple Cut software. Creative Drawing, Simple Cut, that's what we use to set up our files for the Janome Artistic Edge. You're going to create a new file, and you just want to select this, this cut option here. We are not going to do any embroidery, stenciling, or crystals here. So just make sure this one's lit up. Hit Next. And we're going to import from an art, artwork file. We're going to browse to our desktop find our carousel folder, and we're gonna open up the first cutting mat. Um, and you'll see that the fabric is listed right there. So we're gonna use this oyster, which is the kind of white creamy fabric, to cut these shapes out. You'll hit open, and then you'll select your cutting mat. I like cutting on the 12 by 12. Um, I think it bends less, the fabric stays on there better, it's gonna cut faster, and so everything's gonna stay stuck you know, for less amount of time on the on the cutting mat. You could go 12 by 24 if you have some larger pieces, but the smaller mat, the better. So 12 by 12 and click finish. Now it opens up all the pieces here um, and you'll see they're all in a line. We could actually arrange these a little bit more economically. Um, and that's what I'm going to do here because I can save fabric by putting these closer together. Um, you can rotate pieces 
just make sure you don't scale them. You wanna make sure you keep everything exactly the same size as what it imported in as. So I'm just gonna rearrange these and see if I can't get it in a four by four piece of fabric here. Okay, I'm gonna select them all and it's gonna tell me how big a fabric piece I need. Um, in this case, I was able to put it on a four inch by three inch. I always round up to the nearest inch when I'm doing this. It gives me a little bit of buffer around the outer edge. So I'm gonna make a note on my notepad here that I need to cut a four inch by three inch piece for that oyster fabric. And that's the size of fabric that I'm gonna prep and we'll go over that in the next video. So now that I have them all selected, I also wanna set my cutter presets over here. And I'm gonna select the fabric with Tyrial Magic because we are gonna prep our fabric with Tyrial Magic. And so selecting those, I also wanna make note that the blade depth and the blade color for in yellow, and that's gonna you know, pretty much keep it standard throughout. Um, but you'll want to set up your cutter with those settings. Once I have them all arranged, ready to go, I'm going to click File, Export, and I'm going to export it to the cutter. I don't have mine connected right now, but one thing I do want to show you in this page with the uh, Genomi Edge, you will need to set up the origin of where the blade's going to start. And I always set it in the top left corner. So I typically will put my fabric in the top left corner of the cutting mat and then I'll set the origin of the blade there and you'll use these little arrows to kind of guide that little laser around until it's at the top corner of your thing. That way you make sure that all of these pieces are gonna fit in that fabric. Um, and then you'll be able to select cut. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to prep your fabric uh, to get the best results for you, from your cutter and and then cut. All right. See you then.